Ever since DJI overtook Castleblad, there's always been jokes about when will there be a flying Hasselblad? Well, there isn't one, but they've come very close with a brand new APS-C centered X7. Um, actually, there already is a flying Hasselblad, but never mind. So what we have here is the Inspire 2 with the X7. And these are the brand new lenses. They've got the 16, 24, 35, and a 50. Amazingly, they're all the same size. Look at that. All f2.8 as well. They've got a carbon fiber shell, and they are extremely light. That's insane. I guess it has to be light for it to take off. It's like a lens <laughs> Kind of, yeah. These set of lenses are extremely light, each of them weighing roughly 180 grams, which is so light they'll fly away, quite literally. But the amazing thing is the 16mm lens, which has four stops of ND filter built in, which is great for achieving that cinematic motion blur. So yes, we're in London for an event. Sorry, just slammed that down. Boom. We're in, we're in London for an event for the X7. Everybody's waiting for the press event to start. Stupid. We get to, <laughs> we, we get to handle it. We can actually fly it. Yeah. Let's crash it before they land again. While while they're while they're watching like a presentation or some sh I mean some good stuff. This is gonna be one amazing flying camera. It's got 14 stops of dynamic range. Don't know why to put there. Well done, well done DJI. It's quite amazing DJI managed to put such a beast into this little body. 14 stops of dynamic range is clearly on a level with all the current cinema cameras. Give us a look. Sexy. Sexy. Don't sneeze into it though. So super, super 35, 6K cinema DNG. Not bad, is it? There's a 5.2K uh, ProRes, so tasty. The raw files from this camera are going to be huge, 4.4 gigabits a second, it will fill a 512 gigabyte card in under 17 minutes. If you want a smaller size, ProRes is definitely the way to go. Let's just, I don't want to break it, so let's just place it there. <laughs> they will feel you broke it. <laughs> let's just hide, let's just hide. <laughs> let's just, let's just put some lenses in front of it so it doesn't look like it's, um, been unmounted. Sure there we are. Nobody knows. So what else is there to say about it? It's got new, new uh, color profile. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. New color profile. New D log. New D log. D gamut. D gamut. Yeah. It's supposed to be um, really good. Everything seems to be new on this camera. Lens, lens mount, color science. DJI is really being serious to join the proper cinema production workflow. I mean, anybody can have cinema quality drone footage without having to invest. But, but technically not everybody. Rich not, rich yeah, I mean, not everybody, but th this is still kind of a consumer product. Are you getting one? Don't have money, poor. And I'm just, just to prove it's Super 35. Doesn't look like so though. No. Why that view, the C300 looks so much larger. That's a big sensor. Is it the same size? I don't think that looks so, more like full frame, doesn't it? No, it's Super 35. I know, but it, it looks big. So you will be able to get some nice aerial low light stuff. Still not sure about flying in the dark. But there you are, bigger sensor means better low light performance. Compared to the X5S, it's not only the dynamic range and resolution that's been increased, the size of the sensor is key. You get shallow depth of field if you want bokeh in your drone shots, but low light filming is made possible with this 24 megapixel sensor. But this is just a pre-production one, so we can't actually get any footage from it. We can't take flight with this. Unfortunately, so we can't show you any footage shot by us, but we can show you some footage shot by them and then graded by him right here.
This is the footage we've got, 4K ProRes in D-Log. You can still see the amazing dynamic range of this camera though. There isn't a date set for when we'll get this, but until then, you'll just have to watch the footage again and again of what they shot. It's just them over there. Um, so, um, yes, yeah, them. And um, it's time for us to go home. Just, there's nothing to see here, Tim. There's nothing to see. It's just, you don't, don't, don't put this footage in. So yes, this is just a quick look at the X7. Hopefully you can get a fully functioning units soon to do a full review. At least I've got an unfunctioning one in my pocket. For now, shh.